everybody, Little Gamer here, and welcome to a brand new video. I'm so happy you have decided to join me here today. And if you are new, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. And if you have been subscribed and have been here before, I'm so happy you have decided to visit me once more. Um, I do apologize for any mic interference you may hear. My cat is on my chest, and he is notorious for trying to eat my mic. So. I am sorry if that happens. Um, I have a computer set up which would make me have to record the entire video over again over any form of minor inconvenience with a mic. So um, I'd, I'd, I'd just rather not, you know, have to redo the video. So I'm just apologizing ahead of time. Um, today's video is about the Bolton, uh, Barton household. Um, now, I will go ahead and tell you that this is not a very happy story. It's a very drama, drama-filled family. Um, Holly Barton, she's she's not a very good woman. She's, she's manipulative, she's narcissistic, she's neglectful, just an overall awful woman. Um, and she, just, she hates all of her kids. Um, they remind, cause, because her, she hates her kids because they look they all have different traits of their fathers and she detests their fathers because their fathers left her and uh, since the kids look so much or have like um, ex the exact same personality as their fathers in certain cases depending on the kid um, she detests them and so she typically just ignores them and the only time she ever dresses them up or brings them out anywhere is when she's trying to hook a new date or new man and stuff like that um, or to show how good of a mom I am, you know, so, now with, with Holly, she, I've already told you she's not a good woman, she's very neglectful of her kids, um, she was not always like this, she didn't start becoming this way until after Kaiden, who is her son, you see him at the end of the, uh, you know, where the little sims are and the little plus person icon next to that. He's the one at the end there. Um, she didn't really become this way until after Kaiden's father divorced her because she was just always nagging him and telling him to do something or to give her more money or go get a better job, stuff like that. She was very money conscious. And the reason she was money conscious is because she basically, she had to raise her first daughter homeless. They lived in a motel. Yes, they had shelter, but that, they were still fucking homeless, you know? Homeless means you don't own a home. You don't have a place where you live or an address or anything. You might have a roof over your head, but uh, that's a temporary thing, you know? Like It's like camping, but um, more permanent and a lot less fun. Um... But yeah, so she so she's very, she was very money conscious, and of course she was traumatized from being home a homeless single mother for the first uh, fifteen years of her daughter's life. Um, well, first ten years of her daughter's life. Um, her daughter is currently fifteen years old. No, her daughter is sixteen years old. My bad. Um, and her son is six years old. And her youngest daughter is two years old. But the thing is, is with Holly, is after she, after her second husband left her and her, well, her first, he was, his, he was her first husband by law, but she was, he was not her first, you know, baby daddy. Um, Jane's father, that's her eldest daughter's uh, name, Jane, her father walked out on her mom when she got pregnant as a young teen. She was about, um, I think she was like 17 or 18 when she gave birth to Jane. And, yeah, they were homeless because uh, Holly's parents had kicked her out. And, yeah, that is why um, uh, 
That's why she was so money conscious of all the time. I'm sorry, it's really hard for me to concentrate right now. My cat is currently asleep on my chest and he's the cutest goddamn thing in the face of this world. I love him. I would fight God and the government for my cat. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just, I, I love him. and I, I, It's hard to focus when you've got that ball of cute on your chest. Um, but yes, as you can see, as you have heard, Holly is not the... She's a traumatized woman, but she's also not the best mom anymore. Um, after her divorce, she decided that, you know what, fuck men, and fuck these kids. Um, and that's, and she's currently on the prowl for a, a new husband. Now, her youngest daughter happened because of a one-night stand, and she, again, she could care less about that kid. Um, now, we are moving on to Jane Barton. Oh my god, thank god. I find it so hard to talk about, uh fucking Holly because I'm like I don't relate to her I don't know her what what is this bitch you know um but with Jane I can kind of relate to her a bit um Jane's basically the quote unquote mom of the family she's not the actual birth mother but she might as well be considered a parent considering all the things she does to take care of her siblings um I actually wrote a few notes down about her so that I wouldn't forget. Uh, Jane is actually uh, really focused on caring for her siblings and graduating high school. She wants to get that high school diploma. And she plan in the moment she graduates, the second she graduates, she plans on grabbing her two siblings and gunning it. She's leaving. She's going to be like, bye, bitch. You don't want these kids anyway, so I'm taking them. And she's going to she's gonna do that legally, of course, but you know. You know how it is. Um, she's, she's, I like to think that they live in, like, Willow Creek or, um, Oasis Springs, but, um, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. Um, she's most often seen around town taking her siblings to the library, so one, she can study, and two, they can entertain themselves and stay away from their mother, or to the park so that they can tire themselves out and she can just get out of the house. Um, she's also seen working her part-time job that she works, so she's always, always, always tired. I mean, I don't think I need to explain how difficult it is to raise a toddler and a child when you yourself are still a child, you know, and then work a job and then go to school. And it's not even a good job. It's a job that treats you like shit because if you've ever worked a minimum wage job in your life, you know what it's like, especially if you worked in the service industry of it uh, where you have to do the whole customer service bullshit. I am sorry. I'm going to get on a little tangent here, so please just allow me this. Um... I'm sorry, though. Like, if you think a service job is quote-unquote unskilled labor and therefore those people don't deserve a fucking livable wage, get the fuck off my channel. Don't even fuck with me right now because, like, my parents grew up and I grew up with um, my parents being in the service industry. And, oh my god, the amount of stories I could tell y'all. Um... All I know is that if it's one thing that anybody in this fucking world has, it's the audacity, okay? Fucking hate Karens and their stupid bullshit. Like, I'm sorry, Becca, that you didn't communicate your wants properly enough or at all. And, or that, and I'm sorry, Becca, if your fries are just a little cold and you want your entire fucking meal free because of it. And you're going to scream at this minimum wage worker who doesn't get paid enough to deal with your bullshit. Um, but yeah, y'all can grow the fuck up. I just, I'm sorry, I fucking hate the whole uh, minimum wage shouldn't be livable bullshit. Like, uh, no, without your minimum wage workers, your capitalist machine wouldn't fucking work. And if they die, guess what you don't have? God, I fucking hate people. I'm sorry. I just I sometimes I get on these tangents and I just go with them. Um I just I'm very passionate about a lot of things. Um but yeah. More about Jane though. She does work her minimum wage job part time and she goes to high school and she takes care of two kids and 
she's always tired. She doesn't have any time to hang out with friends or to be a kid herself. She's always worrying, okay, have my siblings eat? Do they have clothes? How am I going to afford their school supplies for this for next year? I should probably start saving for that. There's Christmas. Uh, Kaiden said he wants a bicycle for Christmas, and it's about time he got one because he deserves one. But I don't know if I have that money, so I might have to pull extra shifts. And basically doing all the mathematics of that and trying to budget and take care of two kids on her fucking own. Because, you know, for a fact, her mom's fucking useless. It's all hell. Uh, cause Holly will go out and party all night and get drunk and get laid and do whatever the fuck it is she wants. Meanwhile, Jane's acting like the fucking grown up, you know. In which case, I fucking the sad thing is, is, there are mothers that are actually like that in the world. I mean, there are mothers that are a lot worse than that too. But like, fuck. I hate those kinds of people who just think that they have the, that just because their kids are now capable of cooking that they can take care of all the little ones and they can go back to experiencing their childhood. No, you don't get to do that shit till all your kids are grown and out of the house. Fuck you guys. I mean, like the occasional date night, yeah, sure, go ahead, but every fucking night, goddamn. Um, now this is little Miracle Barton. A little fun fact about Miracle and her name. Uh. Jane is actually the one who named Miracle. This is because Holly did not want to name Miracle anything. She didn't care that she was pregnant. And really, she found the whole birthing process tiresome and annoying. It was more of a, oh my god, really? Seriously? We're doing that now? Kind of thing for her. Um, but, uh, yeah, Miracle was named uh, by Jane by her elder sister and the reason why Jane named her miracle was because it's a miracle she even fucking she was even fucking born because her mom did not take good care of her body while she was pregnant um I'm not talking about you know like eating vegetables or going on a healthy diet while pregnant I mean this woman drank and smoked and did lots of shit you're not supposed to do while pregnant while pregnant and miracle came out perfectly healthy, perfectly healthy, and, um, though she was a little underweight, she was a very small baby, um, she was on that borderline of being a preemie, she was born at the correct stage and correct age, like, you know, when you're supposed to give birth naturally after those certain amount of weeks you give birth, she was born on time and when she was supposed to, but she was still so small because her growth had been stunted in the womb, and she wasn't really developing real well because of her mother's choices. But other than her weight uh, and size, Miracle was a perfectly healthy baby. And as such, Jane named her Miracle because it was a miracle she was even alive. And um, now this is Kaiden. You're probably wondering where I got his name. Those of you who play Skyrim mods probably know. But, um, I just chose the name Kaiden because that is the name of one of the com companion mods on, uh, the Skyrim Xbox or Skyrim Nexus, whichever one you're on. I use it on Xbox because that's the only one I've got and I don't have a PC and the only computer I have is a Chromebook and we all know that those are not made for gaming. Um, but yeah. And this is Kaiden. He's a very sweet boy. He constantly gets in fights, though, so he's very mischievous. Now, I'm sorry, we're coming at the end of this video. I didn't even realize. But I do hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good day. I will be uploading them to the gallery under the hashtag LittleGamerSims. I hope you all have a good day, and bye bye